Leo. Sorry about the change of boards. Management had like a recall and we have to like redecorate so it's out of commission for a second until I can put some more prettiness into it. How are you guys doing today, my pretty, pretty kitty cats? Leo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. Remember, it might not work if you don't believe in it. Or it could and just boop you on the nose. My booper is gone and I kind of missed it because I was getting used to that. <laughs> this is for the beginning of September, y'all. So enjoy the show. Also, if you want a personal reading, my Facebook, email, and Instagram are all down below. As well as the payments, the first readings for free, everything else comes with a price. And I do take tips and donations. So, thank you kindly in advance. Alright, Leo, what do we got for you? Uh, you are pouring your cup onto something. The situation. You pour it over being like, I don't want this anymore. There's no love here. With the Ace of Cups, right? Oh, wait. Okay, that's interesting. But you poured it into a desert that's going to possibly bloom a flower. Like, you poured it out being like, oh, this shit isn't going to work. But then you decided to pour it onto the flower to see if it'll work. Looking at the investment. I don't feel like you're, en I don't feel like you're ending this situation as much as, like, you trying to end it brings this situation about. Where you're binding time to see what grows. Got the Four of Pentacles reverse right here. Your want and wish is like some sort of connection, but I don't know if that's good. I'm not sure if that's good, Leo. Because you're kind of like becoming silver and it almost feels like you're becoming a little bit invisible when it comes in regards to the people you're the person or the people you're connecting to right we got the three of pentacles down below and the obstacle and challenge it feels like you're trying to balance all your talents and skills people are watching you do this as you perform almost a technique you were trying to learn to do over and over again right the fears and rejections right here princess of pentacles Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, there's potential here. But there's a fear and rejection of it, right? And what brings this shit full circle, how it started and how it will end this cycle? Eight of Cups pining over something. Or someone. Or something about that cup in the past. But you have a dynamic future that's about to explode and you don't even see it. Like you have your back turned to it. So it, it's going to hit you. And it's probably going to end up, like, taking your mind off of all of this stuff right here, right? Bad judgment call, or something's not getting resurrected with the judgment card right here. The judgment card, karma card, I can never remember. I don't know. I'm the only one, like, I know now who even does cards in real life, so... Who knows? I don't know. I guess that's the only bad thing about being, um, I guess, touched with divinity. You're always a target, I guess. I don't know where I came from. I just thought of that. You guys need to stop, like, having me say random things out loud. Because that happens a lot when I'm doing these. I'm not talking to y'all Leos and talking to my guides and shit because they have a habit of doing that. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, but it's it, it, okay. It's like there's a situation that you need to let go of or a connection you need to let go of. And as soon as you let go of it, something better is going to spring up, you know? Like, there's disharmony, disharmony separation right now. It feels like. The universe is just all out of whack, and it's like, ah, what's going on here? But, lo and behold, it's preparing to give you a wish, and it's something that, like, you are not completely expecting, Leo. It's like, um, yeah, there's something in here you're dealing with the loss of shit, sure. But, it, that loss is, like, potential. I mean, I like your reading so far. So does Ace of Cups, what's up with it? Why is it reversed? 
because something didn't work out. The imagination, the creativity, it was like, why do I keep, it's almost like, why do I keep creating scenarios for a love that's not there? Or why do I keep creating these things? It's like someone runs out of excuses, Leo, for why they should keep this shit in the cup. So they dump the cup and it goes to the Seven of Pentacles. It creates this scenario where someone's planting a flower in the desert. Um, then that helps drop the crazy, you know. The moon has lunacy and delusion in it. It helps you drop the crazy. Um, whatever it is, you start preparing, planning, like, putting the place that seems impossible is going to take you somewhere. It's going to be an interesting place, but it's definitely going to carry you to a place where you're not surrounded by stuff that is, uh going to cloud your mind and your judgment I feel like either because you have the bad judgment over here we're going to see what comes up next right? right. Did something flip yeah it did um, the wants and wish right there's a separation you're, I think you're kind of obsessing over and I think you're only obsessing over it because once again chemistry is here um, fusion except like nobody all the birds are just smacking into each other you're just being like, ah, you know, like it, neither of you two are really together in a spiritual sense. I feel like like there's no connection there anymore, but you're obsessing over it because the connection isn't there. It's like you're trying to um, create it again. And it's like, that's the only reason why you're stuck around. But I feel like you're doing it in a really fucked up way. Like, saying stuff that's, like, borderline gaslighting, almost. Not like you're meaning to. Also, cross-watchers, switch where you need to, right? Same with the main sign. Please don't tell me that, like, I'm reading for the wrong person or I'm putting the scenario out wrong, because I have no idea. I'm just the messenger. I'm just telling the story. How that story comes out for you is just what comes on your vibration, of course. Now... Let's see. Three of Pentacles. That's the obstacle and challenge, Leo. Working on yourself. Getting your stuff on. See, it, it, it's like you want someone to notice how good you're doing. <laughs> like, look what I can do. <laughs> oh. It, and you're confused by it. It's like, you're showing off, but it's like you're surprised at, like... Mm. It's like you're doing it to protect your own self. You're like showing people what you're made of in order to protect what's going on inside you because you really don't know what's going on inside you right now. Or it just could be the querent you're dealing with, the other person. It's just like a... It's like you... You're only showing people what you want to show them to entertain them. But in reality, you're guarding yourself against something. Because you're not very entirely aware of what's going on with you. Or why it's happening. It's like, you, it's like you're putting out one face while trying to figure out this situation. Like, why don't I have this connection anymore? And it's like, because you're obsessed with having this connection. And you're just performing almost in order to um, protect yourself from being wounded, I feel like. Let's see. Princess of Pentacles. Fear and rejection is potential, right? That could easily be birthed. Um, it could be an earth sign, but you feel like there, it, it's just... Um, it, you guys have been dealing with earth sign for a minute. But it's like, it's like there's a disconnect there. There's no harmony. Once again, chemistry. Both of these cards, where it's like a family, it's like it's not coming together. It's like you're afraid to create something with this person. But you have the Eight of Cups down here, which is like how this shit started and how it ends. You're still stuck on a cup that's frozen, but there's one that's exploding with dynamite, right? You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea. Like, it, it's a complete... It, like, you could come to a decision, but it's like a complete mystery to you. Like, you have no idea. Like, you have... 
like you're you're like hmm. It's like you're so focused on the three of pentacles in order to get what you're getting that it's like you're not noticing what you're doing to yourself. What's the ending theme, please? The star. Could be a lack of communication. But it's also like someone's realizing that their heaven is not this. And that something isn't going to get resurrected. Or they have the wrong idea about this being heaven. And that's like, that's below you, man. It's, and like, you're not in heaven right now. You're not filled with the ecstasy of heaven. Or the clouds that are made of cotton candy. Or at least that's what I've heard of since I was a kid. I don't know if that's true. Someone needs to let me know, please. And what flavor? Asking for a friend. Now, let's see what we get out of these. So we got someone like not giving their cup up because they can't come up with excuses. Uh, but once they pour that cup out, they come out of the crazies. Right? It could be a Pisces involved as well. Knight of Pentacles is not offering something or not offering anything. Like, or you're not doing that, Leo. Because, uh, whatever was planted was bad. This is the Seven of Pentacles as well. It's like whatever this earth sign, like, like you're, okay, some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's like whatever this person um, can do, they really don't put in very much, and it's starting to look like it, like what they do, harvest is just rotted fruit because they let it like fuck around for too long, like it just hung there while they just stood there staring at it. This could also be enabling behaviors as well. So, Leo, you might be the one pouring your cup out, and that causes, like, the, um... Seven, your Seven of Pentacles to come up a little bit better, but it, when it comes to this Knight of Pentacles, it's like, you know, they aren't... Like, their fruit is not cool. I wouldn't eat their fruit. Your fruit is getting you out of madness. Their fruit is, like, all messed up and shit, right? We got a Queen of Cups right here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio... Who has the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands? Ooh, Leah, there might be a water sign for you. Possibly a Cancer. But there's a connection between you two that brings on this Ten of Cups. It's like, look, she's literally squeezing her legs underneath his ass so they can stay close together. She's just like, yeah, I want you right now, you know. That just brings ecstasy, and it's like it brings in this open door with this four of wands right just brings like joy and happiness where this knight of pentacles just isn't doing shit and this bitch is up over this bitch over here is dancing like yeah i like that leo i like that a lot like you guys are might be just getting with somebody who you know might love you the way you want or you're expressing yourself exactly how you want it to be here we got the king of pentacles and the Three of Cups. You might be making yourself a little bit more stable. Or you could be running into a different Earth sign. Who, um... Now, either somebody's, like, wanting to have a good time. Or, you know... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How... Leo, look at that. Okay. So, this row, just in itself, is telling me that it's like you get yourself stable... And it's almost like you're at a party with people. And that ends up helping you find your new love. Even after all of these shenanigans with this person over here who isn't giving you anything but rotten fruit. Or gives you nothing to really focus on. Except like... I'm not sure. I, I, I kind of don't like this knight over here who's just galloping away with their shitty pedicle. You know, it's like you figured out ecstasy and you're putting that shit below your feet. Hello, kids. I see you're getting in my laps, sis. Did you figure out I was just now reading cards, did you? Anyway, that's the reading I got for you, Leos. So if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it. Reading's over. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.